So guys, welcome back to another video. And uh, it's been a long time since I actually did the video with Ionic, so I thought I'd uh, do it today. Ionic has recently, recently, in the sense, just a couple of days back, it uh, released July twenty sixth, I think. It released uh, Ionic four point zero, Ionic four, that is. Uh, so I checked it out, and then I thought it was really cool. Uh, I hope they do the same for capacitor and bring out a stable release as well soon since i am you know like uh, eager to play around with capacitor rather than working with cordova since i believe that capacitor the build system capacitor will one day replace the cord existing cordova build system uh, as far as ionic is concerned so uh, today i decided to make a video on a lot of people were asking me to do ionic videos in parallel with flutter videos as well and i was just uh, saying them uh, kindly wait uh, i'll do ionic videos once capacitor uh, a stable version of capacitor comes out and uh, i'll also update the entire uh, chat app series with ionic and uh, firebase there's a series in my uh, channel right i'll update it I, uh, i'll update it also so uh, yeah i kept saying like that uh, and today i thought why not since now that ionic 4 has been released obviously uh, we can expect a uh, uh, capacitor to get released as well in the coming months right so i thought i'd do a video with uh, ionic 4 and camera and here we are going to be making use of the capacitor build system we are not going to get into cordova so once you uh, once you uh, when you create the project kindly give n when it asks you whether to integrate uh, your project with cordova uh, if you give n it's obviously no so it won't uh, bring in any of the cordova stuff inside your application I have scaffolded out an application here uh, and what I'm going to do here is I'll just follow the instructions here. npm install save capacitor free. Okay, now that that is done, let's just go ahead and do npx cap uh, init uh, app name. We'll just give uh, camera uh, cap and app id com dot raja dot app okay some random id ex example thing okay this is done now i'll add a platform so that i can uh, finally run it so npx cap add android before adding the android what you need to do is uh, we need to run the build once here i'm using uh, vs code but it's up to you you can use any uh, code editor fine if you open uh, android directory now get into app and there will be a source for directory inside that uh, there will be an android manifest.xml file if you check that you need to see whether uh, permissions exist for camera read external storage and write external storage so that we can uh, make use of this devices the, the, the device camera and uh, click a picture right uh, once this is done get into home.html uh, here you can simply go ahead and remove whatever is present here and then add code like uh, image source equals image uh, button ion button click take photo uh, capture okay fine now get into home.ts and we need to write code for that uh, two things right uh, no just one thing now the first thing you need to do is import some stuff import uh, plugins camera source from fine now the next thing you need to do is write a function take photo and uh, this will be an asynchronous function obviously and here you can go ahead and write image okay this is what we'll be making use of to set the uh, source property here for our image that is the path of the image once the image is taken using the camera now what i'll do is i'll go here and then uh, async uh, 
const image equals or const captured image equals await uh, plugins dot camera dot get photo and uh, we need to specify some options the options that we specify would be first one quality some 90 the second one is uh, edit allow edit yeah true while allow edit and the third one is source camera source dot camera the fourth one is uh, the fourth one is result type uh, camera result type dot URI okay you can obviously choose base 64 to get the raw data base 64 form of data of that same image uh, this is done now I need to simply go ahead and uh, this dot image equals uh, captured image dot uh, path oh, sorry web path this will obviously place that image in my uh, inside this image uh, variable which is then used to set the source property of this particular image tag so yeah that's it this is the code that we are going to run let's see if this goes fine so in order to run it using capacitor obviously we need to do a simple steps one is run the build again once the build is successful simply do npx capacitor sync sync okay this will automatically copy the files from the build directory to the uh, android directory okay now uh, open this android directory in your uh, android studio okay once you open it here uh, this will the first time when you open it will automatically perform a build okay uh, simply click on run this is the run thing or shift f10 after connecting your device it's advisable to run it on a device since you are making use of a device feature that is camera uh, so just don't try to run this on your browser if you want to run this on your browser you can do that but you need to sanitize the uh, web path that is the url okay let's not get into that right now so i'll just and then run it on my device wow you get a nice uh, looking um, screen right let's just tap on capture it asks for our permission click on allow and it asks for accessing the device as well the file system of the device as well and once again click on allow now if I just uh, give ok it allows me to edit the image I'll do some editing just use the original and tap on save copy see your image now loads up in the uh, screen since you use the image tag in your HTML file as you can see here so this is how you use the camera plugin in uh, your Ionic applications to uh, take pictures obviously uh, and you this is how you, it is made possible through the using the capacitor build system which is the brand new one of ionic this is one of the main reasons i keep saying capacitor will replace cordova guys cordova if you remember it's a hybrid mobile application development uh, uh, hybrid mobile application build framework build system right capacitor on the other hand it uses the native android sdks during compilation we opened up uh, Android Studio and use the Gradle build system present there to build this application and run it on the device, right? So this is much more faster and smoother. I, in, in my opinion, this is, uh, I feel this is smoother when compared with uh, Cordova. And this is one of the reasons why I keep saying that capacitor uh, in the future, if it's perfect, if it's rolled out perfectly, it will very well replace Cordova build system, the existing Cordova build system in Ionic. This is also one of the reasons why I keep waiting, why I don't do uh, that much Ionic videos as I did previously and keep waiting for this particular uh, build system to get released. 
anyway uh, hope you like this video if you like this video kindly hit the like button kindly give a thumbs up if you uh, like what i'm doing on this channel kindly subscribe to this channel uh yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye